Guess what, tech fans? NVIDIA is releasing, yep, you guessed it, another card. This time, the RTX 3060. Ooh, here right in my hand. This is the EVGA Black Edition that works with their Precision X1 stuff. So this is a pretty interesting card. It's coming to market at about $329. And actually, the box and the card are pretty doggone small. The biggest question in everybody's mind is going to be, hey, is there going to be stock? That's the big question. Now, I live on the East Coast now, and if you guys live in America, you know there's been a giant storm all the way from East to West Coast, which made my card a little late. So I wasn't able to get all of the testing done, but I am gonna bring you guys the unboxing and the first look of this card. So let's just jump in and let's see what this RTX 3060 Black Edition from EVGA is all about. Are you building a new computer or just upgrading an old one? If so, then chances are you need a new Windows 10 key. And CD key sales, they've got you covered. Buying has never been easier. And prices for Windows keys are under $20 and there's even additional discounts. All you need to do is go search for the software that you're looking for, add that software to your cart, create an account, and when you go to checkout, enter the code TT18 to get an additional 20% off. Now, let's frag some. All codes are guaranteed, and you'll be up and gaming in no time. So as far as what comes in the box, you guys can see the box is a pretty simple box. You've got general information on the front. It basically just, you know, says the name of the card, tells you that it's Ampere, tells you that it's Arch, tells you that it works with DLSS and ray tracing, which we already know. The back of the box is just the general features. Now, opening up the box, you guys will see that EVGA packed this card crazy. I mean, it's like three layers of packaging even before I can actually get to the card. And inside the box is really just not very much. There's just the card itself, the warranty information, and that is it. It is a pretty simple unboxing. Now, as far as how the card looks, on top, you guys can see there are two fans, standard issue on a lot of these cards. Um, these fans are actually designed to keep the card running very cool, like all the fans pretty much that are out there these days. I think everybody's doing their best to make the best fans that they can get on their cards. Now, underneath the hood, and what you can't see, however, is that the card has 3,584 CUDA cores. It has a boost clock speed of 1,777 megahertz. It's got a memory clock of 15,000 megahertz effective. PCIe 4.0, the memory is 12 gigabytes of GDDR6, memory bandwidth 192 bit, and the memory bandwidth is a whopping 360 gigabits a second. So that's pretty incredible. On the back of the card, you guys are gonna notice that there's actually nothing at all. There's no plate, no nothing. I like a protective plate on the back of my cards. Maybe since the fact this is kind of an entry level card that they're skipping that particular aspect of it, but I prefer my cards to have that. All along the sides of the card in the back, you can see all the heat fins and all the cooling elements. And the card does require a single eight pin power connector. And it's recommended that you use a minimum of a 550 watt power supply to power this card. So that's the card. Like I said, this video is just introducing you guys into the card, showing you guys what the card is all about. It's a pretty basic card. Like I said, the box is small, the card is small. It'll probably even fit in some really small systems. I don't think it's going to fit in probably, a, you know, a really super duper tiny system, but being that the card is actually really small, you'll have no problem getting it. The card's barely even seven inches. You know, it's the standard height, standard dual design that you're seeing on most of the cards that are coming out these days. Um, now, the big things about this particular card, however, are that if you have a 1060, it's supposed to be like the ultimate upgrade. And I'm sure that it will, because from everything that I'm reading and what NVIDIA is talking about, this card's even faster than an RTX 2060. It's supposed to be around the speed of an RTX 2070. So if any of you guys out there happen to own the previous generation RTX 
2070 cards, then you know that this car will be pretty fast because the RTX 2070s were really nice cards. They were just a little under the 2080s, so it's a really solid card. Um, everybody else is going to have reviews out there on these cards, and I'm gonna be honest with you, the difference between the fastest card and the slowest card will maybe be at the most, at the most, and I'm being really generous here, is 11%. That's gonna be the absolute most. So no matter what card that you buy, um, you're not gonna really have to worry about you know the total speed of your card. I mean, you may get one or two frames per second difference, maybe at the most five frames per second, and I'm really being generous with that, like I said. So, you know, just look around and try to find the cards with a brand that you really know. EVGA has been around a long time. They're probably the biggest, you know, um, independent company that's making these cards. We all know ASUS, Gigabyte, those companies all make cards. They're giant corporations. EVGA only makes video cards and they really only make them for NVIDIA. So they're a specialized company. Many overclockers out there in the world, Kingpin and many others have used their cards for overclocking over the years lots and lots of times so these guys have a solid product they always have a good warranty if there's any of these cards for sale um, I will put the links down below and I'll also make another video following this up in the next few days as I get all my testing done um, you guys may not know this but before I had a whole team in LA I had Jesus, my friend who passed away. I had Anthony. I had a whole team of people who helped me do this. And since I've been back here, I've just been really suffering with depression, not used to being away from my family and friends, and I've had to literally start over again. And uh, doing the, that 0.01% that, 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 that testing, I have to figure all that out and re-get everything down. So please bear with me. Thanks for watching. If there's anything available, I'll have a link down below. If not, peace out. Thanks for watching. I love you guys as an audience. If you like me, hey, and you like what you see, please hit that sub button and turn on notifications so you know I'm making videos. Other than that, hey, I will see you guys back here on the channel on Tech of Tomorrow for more videos. We have Patreon. We also have Amazon Prime down there. It's free. Patreon, you can support me for a single dollar and keep Tech of Tomorrow around. Keep Tech of Tomorrow around. Tick, tick. Blah, blah, blah.